Uh, thank you very much for the hospitality and the invitation. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here in such an important day for us. Uh, we are announcing a, a very important uh, investment both for Greece and for our group. Um, uh, IKEA, Inter IKEA International has decided to uh, invest uh, in a distribution center that will service all Eastern Mediterranean uh, countries like Israel, uh, Jordan, uh, Greece, Cyprus, of course, and second stage, uh, Egypt, and probably other countries. More than uh, 250,000 cubic meters of merchandise will be unloaded to Piraeus and then reloaded uh, to distribute to all Eastern Mediterranean. So there will be an, an important uh, value-added item uh, here in Greece. And of course, this is very important for our group also in, in three ways, if I may add. First of all, because our stores in Greece and Cyprus will have more flexible inventory and in better prices due to the transportation cost. Second, because our newly entered in the stock market the real estate company, Trade Estates, will develop and own the 50,000 square meters uh, modern uh, distribution center. And third, because our subsidiary trade logistics will operate uh, under contract with Inter IKEA, the logistics center. So we are all very happy for this investment. Uh, we would like to thank uh, the Ministry for all the help. We have a, a continuous cooperation, starting with the big problems in Larissa, etc., etc., and of course with the um, uh, recovery fund, uh, which is very important for us, and all the investments that we are doing. Presently, we are about four or five investments that uh, we are using the recovery fund, uh, and uh, of course we want to place this investment in the recovery fund also. So uh, I don't want to uh, say more. I'd like to ask uh, Andrea Colzani from uh, a Global uh, Supply Care Supply Manager to tell us a few things about uh, the scope of this investment. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me and hosting me. I'm um, very pleased to be here. So you already summarized the majority of the point. I need also to add that we are serving also Bulgaria, by the way, in the country that you listed. The decision on going in, in this area, it's very, very simple for us to say. The inbound perspective uh, coming from Far East Asia with the Piraeus port uh, will be, in a certain way, the best way to short the lead time and also to take care about the sustainability aspects that is part of our, we can say, plan, what we call people positive plan, to arrive to reduce the CO2 impact. And then in outbound perspective, of course, as you mentioned, all these countries can be delivered and served in a very, very faster way. So we need to come closer to the customer. We know that the infrastructure are very good. The Piraeus port is something that we are parametering with other ports and is working uh, quite well. So under this point of view, we are very, very confident we continue to develop in this uh, perspective. And then the last point that I wanted to mention is also the infrastructure that we have here that we can utilize because in Bulgaria, for example, we are studying to deliver via train and go via rail. So also here to minimize the impact on the CO2 uh, possibility. Plus, uh, we have uh, a long partnership with the uh, house market that is part of the group of the Furli in the retail uh, side, 25 years. I think that we are working together so that it's also a sort of next step to develop our partnership together. Yeah. Well, uh, thank, you, thank you very much um, for presenting this very exciting new investment to us. Um, we've been trying to make the case that, that uh, Greece has uh, the opportunity to develop into a regional uh, logistics hub. And these types of investments uh, seem to support uh, our, our main thesis and to take advantage uh, of our unique geographic position, but also of the infrastructure private and public that has been uh, built uh, in order uh, to support uh, these types of investments. And of course, we, we talk about you know, the port, uh, I mean, the, the strategic importance of Aspropyros, the broader area, uh, given its, its proximity to, to the port, uh, rail connectivity, which for us is uh, going to be uh, that more uh, important uh, uh, into the future. But of course, uh, I would like to highlight you know, two aspects of what, what you said, first of all, better logistics, better prices. It's, it's important that the, the, the better 
uh, we, um, uh, the supply chain is functioning. At the end of the day, this means better prices for the consumer and at the time of the uh, increased cost of living globally, this is an important aspect. And of course, the specialized jobs around um, logistics, where I think we already have a younger generation of um, uh, of Greeks who, who decide to, to make this a career uh, choice. And of course, uh, coupled with uh, state-of-the-art technological solutions, this also provides a very good career path. Uh, and I would like uh, just to add, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, that uh, this investment uh, is a very positive signal uh, that Greece can play this role. So Greece has a perfect location, we have the right infrastructure, we have a very uh, efficient port, it is the fourth port, uh, the Piraeus port in, in, in Europe, it's the first port in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, so I think that you can take uh, advantage of, of the location of Greece in order to increase uh, your, your business. And we're very, uh, and of course be sure that we're going to support you uh, in order to finalize, to conclude your investment uh, in, in prompt uh, time. So uh, the money uh, is here, wait for you to start. We're going to help you to assist you in order to mature uh, and obtain all the necessary permits in order to start uh, the constructions. Uh, 